Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to integrate GitHub with your Jenkins installation. We'll configure a webhook so that a new commit to your GitHub repository starts a build on Jenkins. Before you get started, you need to make sure that your Jenkins installation is available from the internet. In my case, I'm running Jenkins on a DigitalOcean droplet. So here I am logged into my Jenkins installation and the first thing that I need to do is I need to install the GitHub integration plugin. To do that, I'm going to go to manage Jenkins. I'm going to click on manage plugins and I'm going to go to the tab available. And here I'm going to search for GitHub. So here's all the list of plugins that mention GitHub somehow and you want to find the GitHub integration plugin. So I'm going to click that and then I'm going to say download now and install after restart. This will download the plugin, it will download all its dependencies and then we can restart Jenkins by just checking this check mark. So after a short while the plugin will be installed and Jenkins will be restarted and then we can actually start creating our Jenkins job. Now before we're going to continue I want to show you the GitHub repository that I want to automatically deploy or automatically test with Jenkins. This is hosted on GitHub. So I'm going to go to my GitHub account. It's a very simple repository just for the purpose of this video. And the repository is called testing and it just contains a readme.md file. Now in reality, your repository will probably contain a real programming project. It will contain actual source files that you will need to compile or either run unit tests on. But for the purpose of this video, this repository is just fine. So let's now go ahead and create a job in Jenkins. So I'm going to go to the home page here. And I'm going to click on new item. I'm going to give my job a name. I'm going to call it testing as well. I can either go for a freestyle project. You could also go for a pipeline, which is the new way of configuring jobs in Jenkins. I'm going to go for freestyle projects for right now. If you want me to make a series on Jenkins pipelines, definitely let me know in the comments below and then I'll get right on that. So freestyle project for now, I'm going to click OK to continue. And there we go. The first thing that we need to do in general is we need to say that this is a GitHub project and then we need to give it the URL of our project. So I'm going to go to GitHub, I'm just going to copy the URL here and paste it in the project URL. Then I'm going to scroll down and then I want to let Jenkins know that we're using Git as our source code management system. And so Jenkins will now ask us, okay, what's the URL of your repository? In other words, where can I clone this repository? So I'm going to go back to GitHub. I'm going to click on clone and download. And I'm going to copy this HTTPS URL right here. I'm going to paste that right into the repository URL field for Jenkins. And now I can also specify which branches it should build. So by default, Jenkins will only build the master branch. Also, let me know in the comments below if you want me to make a video on how to use this with a private repository. Again, this is a public repository available for everyone. If you want to learn how to do it with a private repository, leave a comment below and I will make a video about that as well. So let's now scroll down to build triggers. And this section lets Jenkins know when it should start building uh, your job. So in our case, we want to build it every time something has happened on GitHub. And the GitHub plugin for Jenkins has added this option right here, GitHub hook trigger for Git SCM polling. Now, this might seem a little bit complex, but this will let Jenkins know that it should listen to incoming requests from GitHub uh, and then start a new build. So we'll see this later on. And now that's actually it. So we can define our build environment. You can add your build steps here. You can say for each build, you should run unit tests or you should compile my project um, or you should deploy it to a cloud service, etc. So I'm just going to save the Jenkins job right here. And the final thing that we need to do is we need to ask GitHub to notify our Jenkins installation after each commit. So I'm going to go back to my repository on GitHub and I'm going to open its settings. And then I'm going to open up the webhook section. And GitHub says that webhooks allow external services to be notified when certain events happen within your repository. And that's exactly what we want. We want GitHub to notify your Jenkins installation 
every time a new commit comes in so that it can start running our unit tests or that it can start a deployment. So I'm going to add a webhook. And the first thing that it asks us is the payload URL. Now the payload URL is the address of your Jenkins installations slash GitHub dash webhook. So I'm going to go to my Jenkins installation, I'm going to copy the URL to it, paste that in there, and I'm just going to append GitHub dash webhook. And just by appending this, we're telling Jenkins to route the request to the GitHub plugin. We can also choose our content type, I'm going to put it to application JSON, we can put in a secret, but I didn't configure a secret in my Jenkins installation. So I don't need to do it here. And then I can configure when GitHub should send events to this webhook. I'm just going to say it should only notify my Jenkins installation when a new commit is pushed onto this repository. Then we can make our webhook active. So I'm going to leave this checked. I'm just going to add the webhook right now. And now we're done. Now to test the integration, I'm going to make a small commit to this repository and you will see that it will automatically trigger a build on Jenkins. So I'm going to go to code. I'm going to go to the readme file and I'm going to edit that file. And I'm going to say testing one, two, three. Then I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to commit my changes. All right. So now let's go back to Jenkins. I'm going to refresh the page. And there you go. There is a build in the build queue right now. So it just started building right now. And there you go, it is finished. And if I open it up, you will see that it was actually triggered by GitHub push. So here it says started by GitHub push by SFG. So that was it for this video, just a simple way to connect your GitHub repository with your Jenkins installation. If you want to learn more about Jenkins, check out the rest of this series. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe to my channel, leave a thumbs up. And if you want to learn more, leave a comments down below with what videos I should make next. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.